Merry Christmas, everybody. I got a surprise for you. For months, I have waited with such anticipation. For as I welcome you to my long-awaited, highly anticipated playthrough of one of the top and best games of 2013, Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PlayStation 3. But first, system data update that I have to go through once when I get a new game. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> First, system data update. Even though I've already completed Grand Theft Auto 4, even though I'm going to come back to that game as soon as I'm done playing GTA 5 for days, 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 weeks, and months. I mean, good thing I got this game for Christmas because I didn't want to miss out from all. I didn't want to miss out from all the fun because I just hate missing out all the fun. Everybody's going ahead of me. Good thing I'm one of the few people that bought the game this year. Instead of waiting two years, three years from now getting this. But first, updating data. Damn, so that means it's going to take me... I'll come back after all this is done. I don't have time for this like I always do every time I get a new game. Moving on. Okay, now the game is about to come on after about like eight minutes of waiting for the system for the for the um save data to be saved. Wow, this is something I've never seen from any opening to a Grand Theft Auto game. Oh wow, nice way to pull off the logo. The Rockstar logo. So, is like what I'm supposed to do? Let's... Wait for them to install the game data so I can start. Sorry, setting up, uh... everything for the game to this point. This is what I would like to call the waiting game. Honestly, I don't have time for it. This was just an introduction video. Move on to part episode one of my playthrough. On the link below.